Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're continue working on this 2018 GMC Sierra and the first thing what I need to do is prep these two doors that came off from this truck, front two doors that got slightly burned. So what I need to do is completely sand this area where it got burned all the way to the metal. Mask off those areas that I want to be oversprayed. It's not gonna be a whole lot. It's basically just uh, co I'm gonna cover that like so and over there and cover over here so the window doesn't get overspray on it also. It should be pretty simple. Send it with a, a DA, wax and grease it, mask it off, uh, sealer, base, clear, then set it somewhere, put the heater next to them so they dry it out fast. While I'm gonna be working on those uh, two fenders that I primed a couple episodes back and then I'm gonna jump in on the hood, gonna send the hood with the 320 DA and basically I'm gonna be ready to start painting but it's not gonna be quite ready cause the truck needs to be masked off. Lots of work needs to be done today. Let's not to waste the time and jump right on it. So guys, as you saw, I started sanding, everything was working just fine until I get to the difficult spots and then I start spending way too much time sanding them and it's actually, it was difficult to send it. So I remembered that I have this stuff, an aircraft paint remover. So I applied few coats on both doors. I'm gonna let it sit uh, for, I don't know, it says from anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. Probably gonna choose the middle, which is 10 minutes. Gonna let it sit, then gonna scrub it off this paint off of it, and then gonna wash it with the water. It says it can be washed with the water. And basically after that, I'm gonna be able, uh, after I dry out the door, I'm gonna be able to start applying the paint products. So let's wait 10 minutes and see how it's gonna turn out. That's it guys, as you can see, both those doors behind me are prepared. Everything looks good as you can see. Nice, the aircraft paint removal worked out really well. But that thing was really, really old. I don't know, it's, I had it probably for a couple of years. It wasn't working like it's supposed to, but I managed to do it. 
everything is ready now i'm gonna start masking waxing greasing and we're gonna go and start mixing the paint So I got those bolt doors, wax and greased, mask it off, everything is ready to be sprayed with the sealer, but before I do that I need to spray it with self H primer, I have a sealer mixed over here, I'm gonna dump it in the gun and gonna spray two coats of a sealer, then I'll mix a base, two coats of base and we'll mix a, a clear coat same thing two coats of clear and that should be it and that should be plenty enough to cover everything over there And just like that, bull doors are finished. Came out really good, I really like it how it came out. Let me show you how it did it blend. So over here you can see this a factory, like a seam, but it's not a seam. I don't know, but there's a uh, there's some kind of groove. So back mask it over here on the groove. You can't even tell. Of course, this is shine less cause I've been with the scratch bright over here. And this is the fresh clear coat only thing you can see is this line right here which is no biggie um, you cannot see line over here see because it was uh, more folded compared to this it was a uh, uh, flat surface so if I would have uh, go further if I would have took a speaker out and mask it over here then it would be not noticeable whatsoever but since uh, there is a uh, door trim I, I'm not worried about it but other than that everything came out really nice same thing you can't even tell where's the blend over here over time I got really good with those blends uh, I saw some other people do techniques research the YouTube so every time i'm getting better and better with those blends and i wanna i really wanna to learn how to blend the clear coat uh, so you don't even have to buff it out and it's it looks great but i'm far away from that i still need to buff it out but it's no biggie extra time yes but i can do it at this point i will let it occur well, I'm gonna go to gas station, pick up some more propane. I'm out of the propane. This heater actually eats a lot of propane. It lasts me only for two days running. Uh, I would say full speed, half speed. It depends how cold it was. Uh, today it's actually warm enough, but yesterday it was really cold and day before. All right, I'm gonna go refill the tank of the propane, come back and we're gonna start working on the truck. I got the truck back in the garage right on time, the rain just started and for some reason it didn't want to start that up again so I had to open up the plastic, throw the second battery, hook up the booster, it did start right up. By the time I turned around and got in here and start the truck it got wet a little but it's no biggie. I don't want to take this plastic off so whenever I'm gonna be sending this primer so this uh, sanded primer with the water doesn't go in the engine bay so I don't have to clean out right away because it's gonna get messy. So I'm gonna cover this hole right here and that 
what I open up over there and also I'm gonna be covering this uh, door gem so since the primer doesn't go on any plastics or inside the interior that, that way I don't have to clean it uh, again now let's get the 320 send it bolt fenders 600 repeat the process and after I finish with bolt fenders I'm gonna move on to the hood that's gonna be 320 on DA and basically I'm gonna be done with the hood with the hood and with ball fenders and the doors as you can see already dry I have my turbine <laughs> heater here so I'm gonna turn it back on I just shut it off so I can talk uh, freely and you guys can hear me easily and I'll let you know what I'm gonna be doing so that's my plan Hope everything works out just perfect or just fine and hopefully I'm not gonna have any hiccups so I don't end up uh, painting this uh, truck all night. Now let's get it started with the sanding process. Guys, I'm done with the driver's side fender. Everything came out nice. 320, 600, done. So this fender is completely done to be masked off and painted. But before we can start painting, I need to jump in on the passenger side fender and repeat the process. And just like that, another fender is ready. Everything looks good on this fender also. I had to send this fender a few times. I actually did the 320, then did the guy code, another 320, and on the halfway, when I was halfway through the fender, I noticed that it's 320, so I had to redo it on a 600. Now it's ready, everything looks good. So it's time to start installing these doors so that I can prepare them. And also two of those stands are busy. I can't put the hood on the third stand cause there's a chain broken on it. So I need to at least install the one door. But hey, this is the time. Let's install both of them in a place. Cut the moldings out and cut the uh, letters off of it and then I can send it with the scotch bright, gray scotch bright and scaff and paste. That's the plan. Let's put those two doors and let's move on the uh, hood.
And I'm done with bolt doors also. Everything is sent. Looks great. Ready to be masked off. There's no shining spots. Fender is great also. So basically, I'm ready to mask this side off. So as this side. Everything looking great. While it's gonna be drying, I'm gonna get the hood, set it somewhere over here on the stand, and gonna start DAing with the 320 uh, grit sandpaper. And after that, gonna wipe and grease, remove it. Gonna blow the leftovers of the water from the truck, and gonna start masking. Hopefully, in an hour or two, I'm gonna be starting painting. It was a long night. Actually, I should say it was a long day with the long night and a new day continues. Anyway, it needs to be done. I really want it to be done with it, with the painting stage. I still have some parts to be painted, but I don't have a space right now. And I kind of don't want to move everything around so I don't get the dust in the air. And then later on, I'm going to be having issues with the painting. So, I'm gonna be painting both sides of the truck, fender with the blend on the door, driver's side and passenger side, and also I'm gonna be painting the hood separately. That way I have enough space and I don't have to move a lot of stuff around to not get the uh, dust in the air. <laughs> And just like that, I'm about to ready to shoot the sealer. But first thing I need to do is wax and grease the fenders and wax and grease the hood. Then after that, my sealer is pre-mixed already. I'm gonna start with the hood and then I'm gonna move to the fenders. Hopefully everything gonna go smooth. It's warm enough in the shop. I make sure I, uh, my heater was working so Here's probably right now 75, 80 degree. And when I'm gonna be opening door, of course, the cold gonna get in. Thank you. 
So what we got over here? Painted front end. So the blend is done. Everything is ready to be clear coated. I also went ahead and tuck and clawed it. Everything looks just great. I love it. It's finally coming out really nice and also it's really warm in the shop. That's what I like. Hopefully I'm not gonna have any runs on the clear coat. Usually on the blended panels you have a runs because there's no uh, there's no surface where the clear coat uh, sticks with. Like uh, if you paint over here, clear coat have more rougher area to stick to it and not run. And over here is just uh, it's so uh, how you say it. Uh, I would say it's kind of like a icy, so it's easy to run on those spots. But check it out. You can't even tell the difference in the color. The hood looks great also. And of course, fender with this door. Clear coat is already pre-mixed. All I have to do, close the lid on it and start shooting. I'm gonna start uh, shooting clear coat from this side. This side gonna be first side. Then I'll go to the other side and last thing I'm gonna do is a hood. Let's do this. And let's see what, uh, how, how long it took me to do the to strip out the gems on the door uh, only one side uh, paint them uh, send the fenders uh, send the doors install them and send the hood mask everything off I think it's gonna be roughly around uh, 28 hours but well, we'll see I don't know what time is it now I'm guessing right around 3 p.m. And I started yesterday uh, at 11, at 10, at 10 uh, or 10 30, something like that. So it's 24, yeah, it's roughly gonna be 28 hours when I'm gonna be completely done with it. Anyway, let's uh, apply the clear coat. And just like that, the truck is painted. Let me, let's go around to see how's it look. Here's the hood, of course, there's gonna be some dirt in it. Here's the fender, the door. Door looks good. Let's go check it out the other side. Everything looks beautiful. Color matches. The gap over here is for some reason bigger, but I'll adjust that. I like how it came out. Now let's unmask this truck. That's it guys, the whole truck is unmasked. It started looking even better. Can't wait when I start putting all the parts together. It gonna stand out, it's gonna look so beautiful. I just can't wait for that moment. This is really nice feeling. Finally be over with this truck in the painting stage. Of course, it's not everything that painted. I still have few things that needs to be painted. 
but I'm waiting on the grill and there's some decision needs to be made so that's why I'm gonna hold off a little bit on those parts I have uh, other stuff to do on this truck to and whenever the grill gonna come over I just want to see if I want to paint the white or I want to keep it the way it is. This was a hard straight 29 hours. I thought it was going to take me a lot less, but to strip out the door jams, paint them, then bring the truck, send the primer two times, 320, 600, then uh, send the, uh, put the doors back, send the doors, send the hood, uh, mask everything off that takes a lot of time i mean you can't skip that it just it is what it is with the painting stage that's gonna be a wrap for today's episode guys thank you for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the work give me a thumbs up so the youtube knows we're doing great also comment your thoughts down below and if you haven't subscribed do so there's more crazy stuff coming to the channel really really soon also follow me on instagram to see inside scoop there before youtube thank you for your support and i'll catch you next one Be free.